Howdy, friends. Steve Defoe here with the Rose Realty Team with this week's Real Estate Vlog for North Texas. Today, home inspection mistakes. Now, for those of you that may not, may not realize it, or maybe haven't moved in a while or bought a new home in a while, what we always what we recommend here on the Rose Realty Team is when you put an offer in on a house and it's accepted, what we recommend you do is get a home inspection because you're not a, you're not a home maintenance or home construction expert, neither am I, okay? And so we don't know the condition of the roof, what the plumbing looks like, whether there are electrical problems, whether there are leaks, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So we, we hire a guy that's gonna come in and do a home inspection and he's gonna give us the straight scoop on the condition of the house. That way, two things, two things happen. Number one, if there's anything that's structural or a safety issue, basically, we can ask the current homeowner or the seller to fix those for us. And number two, we go into this, we go into this transaction with our eyes wide open so that we know, you know, geez, the, the, um, the um, let's just say the dishwasher, or oh, better yet, I'm sorry, erase that, go back. The hot water heater is 15 years old. They normally last 10 or 12. So it's kind of at, it's still operating properly, but it's at the, you know, kind of the, like the end of its life close to. So we can do a couple of things. We can maybe put some money aside to buy a, buy and install a new hot water heater, um, you know, in a couple of years when it goes bad, or if it's still, you know, if it's still kicking kick along there in a year or two, maybe we want to replace it before it starts leaking. Okay. So, it gives us full information on the house, so we go in wide open, okay? So mistake number one. What's mistake number one? We hire the cheapest inspector. Now, I have a lot of respect for, um, for, a homeowner, for home inspectors. Um, they're licensed by the state of Texas, as are we. Um, I have a lot of respect for them, but, but when you go with the, when you go with the, uh, with, with the cheapest one, um, you know, I, I say you, you kind of always get what you pay for. Okay, maybe the maybe the cheapest one is because the guy is uh, is brand new and he's trying to make a make a make a name for himself in, 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 the, uh, in the in the community, something like that. Uh, maybe he just can't get jobs because he's the smallest one. Maybe he's a solo operator. Whatever. It's good to look into him. You know, it's, it's good to look into in detail. But they just hire the cheapest one because. Is a, you have a you have a four you have a piece of paper and it says hey this guy is four hundred and this guy's seven hundred let's say I had a four hundred guy you know that 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 could that, that that could be a mistake okay so don't just hire the cheapest one um, another mistake is not attending the inspection now what what I like to recommend to my clients is this I like to recommend that you get an idea of how long the home inspection is going to take. Usually for the typical house in, in, uh, in the Metroplex, it's usually about three, three and a half hours, okay? So I plan on three hours and I plan on, I plan on as the agent, as your agent, showing up half an hour before the end and recommend that you do as well. So that the home inspector will go, number one, will go over the, the report with us, allow you to ask questions, and point out some things that he feels are this important stuff for you to know. So missing, the missing or not attending the home inspection is a mistake. Okay, number number three, just skimming over the report. Now the reports are easy enough. I mean they they have different categories, and most of us just kind of focus on the deficiency category and see what that says, but. The deficiency category may not say, you know, it may, it may pass inspection, the roof may pass inspection, but in the verbiage there, okay, it may say um, has, has reached the end of its life for the roof, okay? So it's not deficient, it's still doing its deal, okay? But, you know, it, it's, it's toward the end of its life. Same thing with my water heater example a couple of minutes ago, okay? So just skimming, just skimming over is, 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 a, is a mistake read through it, understand what it says, you know, so again, you go in with your eyes wide open. Avoiding asking questions. You know, this is, this is um, a lot of men have this problem, right? Don't we, don't we guys, right? Um, the, the home inspection says X, Y, and Z. You don't know what that means. And so what you do is you just say, oh yeah, okay, uh, I get that. 
and you don't under, you, you you know you don't under you don't understand you don't understand the report or you don't understand you know what's what's going on here because you don't want to look you don't want to see him or look embarrassed okay or want to don't want to see him dumb ask questions okay um there's there's a, there's a lot of questions about you know you know for, for example about caulking you know is a good is a good example the here in Texas caulking on home inspections is always an issue. Why? Because we, we, we because lately we've been getting zero degree, some, some zero degree days in the winter and obviously some hundred degree days in the summer. The caulk takes a really beating on the outside of the house, right? And so one of the things you may wanna ask is, hey, you know, um, the caulk, you said the caulk is really pe peeling up. Does that mean I got a, I'm gonna have a leak into my, into my wall? Or is it just the, the caulk is just you know uh, de delaminating, okay? Or there's a, there's a crack in the crack in the mortar. Is this a big issue? Do I have to jump on this? You know, you know, right after closing, or is it is, is this not is this not a not, not a major catastrophe? So not asking mistakes is is a, is, is another one. Um, expecting expecting a expecting a perfect report. Look the the. Home inspectors go through something like 1,600 different items, okay, on their on their they have a checklist, and they go through about 1,600 different items ish, you know, during their um, during their home inspection, and expecting a expecting a a, um, a perfect report is, is is a mistake, right? There's going to be stuff that he's going to find, and it depends on the magnitude, you know, of um, of that uh, um, of, of that of that problem is going to determine whether we're going to we should we should panic or not, right? Um, the roof is leaking. I would say it was something we should panic about, and we have to we have to we have to look into the circuit breaker in the in, in the in the circuit in, in the, uh, the the circuit box um, has, has the wrong um, amperage. Okay, not a big deal. Pop one out, put another one in. It's good. Okay. But you, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to panic when you see that you don't have a perfect pass. Um, foregoing additional testing. Um, so again, I have a lot of respect for these for these home inspectors. Um, but one of the things that we all don't understand is that they're more generalists. Okay. So if they take a look at your roof and he says, um, geez, you know, I saw a couple of wear spots. And I saw a couple of nail marks, nails popping out, which is you get a lot. Um, and I saw this and I saw that. You know, that's sort of a, a heads up or a clue that what you should maybe consider doing is you should end up calling in a roofer. We have roofers that we can call in. We'll do a free inspection for you. Um, but not, not calling in that roofer or that electrician or that plumber if he kind of hints that you should take, you should call in that specialist. Not calling in, not calling them in could be, you know, could be it could be an issue. It could be a mistake because then you get the expert telling you what's going on, sort of as opposed to the generalist. Again, you know, a lot of, a lot of props for these, a lot of props for these um, um, home inspectors out there. But not calling in an expert, you know, could could potentially be an issue. Next week, um, home mechanical maintenance. Now I learned. I personally learned a lot from this, uh, from doing the research for this uh, for this vlog. Um, home mechanical maintenance. You know, so maintenance on some of your products uh, and some of your appliances you have at home to make sure that they last for a while and they don't. You know, they 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 break down as they break down as little as possible. It also allows you to understand what where they are in their life cycle and whether you're going to need to buy a new one or not anytime soon. This is Steve Depoe with the Wells Realty Team. I'm going to bounce.